Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the IP version 6 that is the IPv6 Internet Protocol version 6. So the IPv6 was developed by Internet Engineering Task Force which we also know as IETF to deal with the problem of IPv4 exhaustion. IPv6 is a 128-bit address having an address space of 2 to the power 1 to 128 which is a way bigger than IPv4 because in IPv version 4 or IPv4 we have 32 bits address space so it makes uh, 32 bit addresses which makes it to address space of 2 to the power 32 so if if in IP version 6 we have 128 bits addresses so the address space that we get is 2 to the power 128 which is way bigger than IP version 4 IP version 6 uses hexadecimal format separated by a colon. So unlike, unlike the decimal notation in IP version 4, here we have the colon notation. So IP version 6 uses hexadecimal formats whereas the IP version 4 uses the decimal format. The main reason for IP version 6 was that the addresses depletion address depletion in case of ip version 4 now because in ip version 4 or ipv4 the address space was very small so uh, uh, the there was address depletion so the main reason of ip version uh, 6 was that there was need for electronic devices that rose quickly when internet of things or iot uh, that we study nowadays came into existence the need for more devices also came into existence so more devices means more addresses so uh, in that case ipv4 got exhausted because it has less address space so that was the main reason why ip uh, version 6 was introduced <clears throat> because internet of things came into picture after 1980s and then the number of devices that used the internet also rose and hence more addresses were used and IP version 6 uh, 4 had limited address space so we introduced IP version 6 which had a much larger address space as compared to IP version 4 the need for new options when new devices came with the advent of internet of things the need for new options support for multimedia and the desperate need for security all this brought ipv6 into the picture ipv6 into the picture so the ipv6 or the internet protocol version 6 protocol responds to all the above issues that we have discussed using the following main changes in the protocol so what were the changes done in the ipv version 6 which were not there in ipv version 4 let's look at those changes in the protocol the first change was a large address space now 128 bits long ip version 6 address is long as compared with the 32 bit ipv4 address space then it had a better header format ipv6 uses a new header format in which options are separate from the base header so you have a separate portion for the options and inserted when needed so these options are inserted only when they are needed and not unnecessarily provided with the header so there the option field in ip version 6 is separated from the base header and it is inserted in the header only when it is needed but and it is between the base header and the upper layer data so basically because of this because of a separate option field uh, this simplifies and speeds up the routing process because most of the options do not need to be checked by routers so if they need to be checked by the routers only then they are put inside the uh, header base header otherwise they are not kept in the base header so then in that case there is no need for the routers to check them and lot of time is saved this way then there is a new option field ip version 6 has new options to allow for additional functionalities in addition to the ip version 4 uh, options it has added some new options that allow for additional functionalities obviously new options means new and additional functionalities then there is allowance for extension ip version 6 
is designed to allow the extension of the protocol basically it is an extension of the ip version 4 so it allows the extension of the protocol if required by new technologies or applications we know um, with the advent uh, with the passage of time new technologies new applications keep coming so whenever there is a requirement for the extension of the protocol whenever some new technology comes or whenever some new applications come then this allows for extension which is an added benefit then there is support for resource allocation in ip version 6 the type of service field has been removed now um, if you've uh, watched my earlier video where we started ip version 4 you saw you must have seen that there was a type of service field in the ip version 4 header but this type of service field has been removed from the IP version 6 header and instead of that two new fields that is the traffic class and the flow label have been added to enable the source to request special handling of the packet right so these traffic class the new field that has been added the traffic class and the flow label they basically enable the source to request special handling of the packet this mechanism can be used to support traffic such as real-time audio and video so when you want to support real-time audio and video this is a quite beneficial uh, field then there is support for more security the uh, ip version 6 provides uh, encryption and authentication options so these encryption and authentication options in the ip version 6 provide confidentiality and integrity of the packet which is always required during data transmission now let's look at the ip version 6 header format so how does the header of an ip version 6 look like it looks like this so these are the fields that are there in the IP version 6 header format. The version field which is of 4 bits, the priority or traffic class. The prior now here in the if you uh, uh, know if you would notice you would find that in IP version 4 here there was type of service field. Now this type of service field has been re removed in IP uh, version 6 and instead of that we have priority or traffic class field and this is of 8 bits. Then the flow label field uh, is of 20 bits, payload length field is of 16 bits, next header field is of 8 bits, hop limit field is of 8 bits. Then the source address here is of 128 bits, destination address is of 128 bits and there are extension headers. Now let's look at each of the field in detail. The version field is of 4 bits as we know it indicates the version of IP. Just like in case of IPv4 the version field indicated the version was 4. Here the version field indicates that the version is 6 and it contains a bit sequence of 0, 1, 1, 0. Then the traffic class field which is of 8 bits it indicates the class or priority of the IP version 6 packet. So basically traffic class is used to indicate the priority of the IP version 6 packet. How does it help? It helps the routers to handle the traffic based on the priority of the packet. So the routers will handle the packet as per the priority of that particular packet. So if congestion occurs then the packets with least priority will be discarded and the packets with the highest priority will be kept. So higher priority is given usually to the audio and video data so that in case of congestion these packets are not dropped and rest the least uh, lesser priority packets are dropped. Then you have the flow label field which is of 20 bits. Now it is used by a source to label the packets belonging to the same flow in order to request special handling by intermediate IP version 6 routers. So basically flow label indicates that the uh, all the packets are belonging to the same flow that means they are uh, belong to a same message they are a part of the same message so uh, this way a special handling is requested by the intermediate routers then is your payload length field which is of 16 bits now you all know payload is the actual data that has to be transmitted so payload length indicates the total size of the payload that is the total size of the data which tells router about the information a particular packet contains in its payload so this way the routers easily know what exactly is the length of the actual data that has to be transmitted now the payload length field includes extension headers it also it may or may not include extension headers but if there are 
any extension headers then they will be included in the payload length field and an upper layer packet that is a packet that has been passed on from the upper layer then you have the source address the source address here is of 128 bits address of the original source of the packet so basically source address is nothing but the address of the orig original source of the packet that is the source which is which has uh, initiated the transmission which has transmitted that particular packet this depicts the address of that particular source then is your destination address the destination address is the final destination where the packet has to reach so it indicates the final destination for which the packet is transmitted so all the intermediate nodes can use this information so that they can correctly route the packet because when they check the destination address and they find it is not theirs they pass it on through an appropriate outgoing line so that finally this way it reaches the final destination then the extension headers the last field is the extension headers what are these extension headers now in order to rectify the limitations of the ip version 4 option field extension headers are used in ipv version 6 so the next header field of ip version 6 fixed header points to first extension header right and this first section extension header points to the second extension header and so on if there is a second or third or fourth extension header so the extension headers keep on pointing to the other extension headers if they exist so this was to uh, rectify the limitations of the option field of the ip version 4 or the ipv4 then we have the next header field which is of 8 bits the next header field indicates the type of extension header if there is any it is not necessary that an extension header will present will be present but if a, uh, if at all an extension header is present then the next header field indicates the type of extension header that is present immediately following the ip version 6 actual header in some cases it indicates the protocols contained within the upper layer so in some cases the next header also indicates what protocol is contained within the upper layer basically we have two options such as tcp or udp so if it is a tcp protocol or if it is a udp protocol in the upper layer that is also uh, uh, determined by the next header that means the next header field tells what kind of a protocol will be contained in the upper layer then is your hop limit field which is of 8 bits so it is the same as the time to live in ip version 4 packets as you know the time to live field determines the time for which it will live the particular packet the time for which that packet will live or the time for which the packet will uh, be in the network so the hop limit is the same as that of the time to live or the ttl field of the ip version 4 packets it indicates the maximum number of intermediate nodes that an IP version 6 packet is allowed to travel. So if the value gets decremented by 1, its value gets decremented by 1 by each node that forwards the packet. So uh, uh, whatever the maximum value is that will uh, get incremented, uh, decremented by 1 value each time it is uh, it reaches a particular hop that means each time a node forwards the packet it will decrement the value of that packet by one and the packet would be discarded if the value decrements to zero that means the moment the value of the packet reaches to zero it will be discarded and it will no longer be there in the network so basically just like in the time to live field or the ttl field of ip version 4 the hop limit in the ip version 6 avoids the packet from being unnecessarily stuck in an infinite loop because this way you would avoid uh, uh, the packet being stuck unnecessarily in the network so that there is no congestion and there is no problem in transmission